What's up everybody, it's your boy Austin D back with another video. I want to talk about something that I hear a lot of. Maybe I can help clear up some of the confusion. Before I start though, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the video. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so a question I hear a lot is, why do they got to shoot so many times? And I get it. When you hear that somebody shot 14 times, in your head you're like, what the fuck? Like, what in the entire, like, why so many times? I get it. And this video is not to convince you that every time you hear that, that it's a justified thing that should have happened. That's not what this video is. But what I am going to try to show you is that we live in real life, and this is not the movies. And that sometimes it takes shooting somebody more than twice. And in fact, most of the time it is what it takes. Like you see in movies frequently that somebody shot one or two times and they instantly fall to the ground. They're just dead. Or they'll fall to the ground and they got those last like five seconds of like, oh, I'm going to miss you. Like that's not real life. That's not how it happens in real life. So unless you start getting robots to shoot people dead in the center of their head with 100% accuracy every time, that's just not realistic to expect every officer to shoot 100% accuracy every time they shoot. And if you have that type of expectation, there will be no cops. Yes, there are some cops that can shoot 100% on a qualification course, but put them in a real life situation where it's unexpected and see how well they shoot. To expect that out of every cop is, a, is not a realistic thing. All right. But I got a couple of videos I want to look at. All right. This first video I want you to look at. Actually, all the videos, these are not to discuss actually what happened in the video. This is just to look at the action that the person that got shot, what they did after they were shot. That is all these videos are showing, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and look at the first video. Hey! You're fucked up! Oh, shit. 37 headquarters, shots fired, shots fired. Oh, come on, come on. Back up, back up. 31, 37 headquarters. Alright, y'all just watch that. So this guy was shot in the chest and still got back up and fought. That goes to show you right there that shooting somebody one time is not enough to stop the threat. Like when police officers shoot, they shoot to stop the threat. And if you're basing it off this video, then this is enough evidence to show that shooting somebody one time will not do that. Alright, so let's take another video. This next video will show that this person was shot multiple times and still got up to attack the officer again. All right, so look at this. Who's behind your back? No, 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 no. no. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. No. Get on the ground, man. No, no, no. no. All right, so as you can see, this officer shot that guy several times. The guy fell to the ground and still got back up to attack the officer. Like, shot several times. Several. <laughs> and he was hit. Fell down, he's out bleeding, he still got back up and attacked the officer again. That is why police train the way that they train. They train to stop the threat. And shooting one or two times is, I mean, in some cases, it may stop the threat. And if it does, then yes, you stop shooting. But in all cases, that's not going to happen. All right? And it's important to, to do just that thing because if you reach that point where you're shooting to stop the threat, then that person needs to be stopped. Let's look at this last video in which it shows just that. All right? As you've seen this video, the person in this video had just assaulted that female. You can see him go get the female, grab her by the hair, and is getting ready to assault her. He to assault her and shoot her in the end or do whatever. The officer fires several shots at that dude. Uh, to be exact, I counted 11 shots that he fired. Four seconds later, he fired one more shot. Six seconds after that, the guy finally fell. Think about that. 
Now, me just saying seconds doesn't seem like a lot. But you watch the video, that was a lot of time in between for that guy to decide to do something else. He was still up and walking. It took a total of 15 seconds from that first shot for that guy to fall to the ground. 15 seconds. And in that video, you can see Brad was just walking around. Like he was shot, but for a couple seconds that you couldn't even tell. And this is the reason why it's important not to treat every situation the same way. Am I going to sit here and tell you that I haven't seen videos where officers shot somebody way too many times? Definitely not going to tell you that because I've seen it. I've seen my own eyes. But just to hear that, okay, I also shot this guy 12 times. And to be outraged because of the fact that he was shot 12 times not really what he did to get shot. I mean, if you're stopping the threat, that's just what you're doing. You're stopping the threat. One, two shots isn't going to stop it. All right. And these, most of these are shots to the chest for these people. They should be good and gone or good and done with them first couple of shots. But they were not. So again, this video is showing that type of stuff in the back of your head when you see a police shooting. It's not always that amount of shots as what mattered. The point of the shooting was to stop the threat. All right, and that's how many shots it take. Unfortunately, uh, you you shooting at somebody and that person's still standing, they're still in the fight. If you're shooting at somebody and they're still standing, they're still in the fight. All right, so. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the video. We'll see y'all in the next one, all right? Adios.